friends welcome back to the talk and the second session of uh, weblogic server 4120 in this series we are covering all the new features that has been introduced in this version so this is the second session and in this session we are going to cover a new feature which is called the intelligent load balancing so in the first session we have covered a major change that has been introduced in weblogic server 4120 where the traditional uh, admin console is now no longer available instead of that you will have a weblogic remote console which is an open source tool uh, from the oracle which you have you can download from the git repository of the oracle you can install that one and then you can register the multiple admin consoles to a single remote console tool okay that means with the help of this tool you can manage the multiple uh, uh, domains or you can say the multiple admin consoles from a single location okay so if, if you have not gone through that video then i have provided the link of that particular session in the description of this video you can go through that one now specifically in this session we are going to talk about the another important feature that has been introduced which is called the intelligent load balancing so if you have some idea of any of the web server okay and the integration of web server with the backend application server for example web logic application server okay so whenever we have integration so we have a, a web server in front of the application server so there could be multiple web servers or there could be multiple application servers based on your architecture or based on the high availability that you require in your environment okay so basically what happen is that in flow a user access for the url okay with the help of browser that request will serve by the web server that means the request from the user will go to the web server and from web server it goes to the back end application servers right so if you have a multiple application servers in the back end okay then the request will be diverted or you can say will be forward to the back end application servers in the round robin fashion okay to maintain the proper load balancing for example if a first request will come to the web server it will go to the application server 1 second request will go to application server 2 third request will go to application server 3 and fourth request will go to application server 4 so this is the specific case when you have a four application servers in the back end okay now again the fifth request will go back to the first application server so this is called the round robin uh, algorithm for the load balancing of the request and this is a default algorithm that is supported by the web server and specifically this is applicable for your apache web server and for the ohs which is the http server from the oracle right so this is the default behavior of your web server which send the request to the backend application server in the round robin fashion okay so now let us understand what is the change that has been introduced here at the web server level right so this is called the intelligent load balancing that means from oracle weblogic server 1214c which is the 1412 version onward it provides support for oracle http server ohs intelligent load balancing that's based on the overall health of server instances while making routing decisions so what does it mean let me go back to previous screen so here what we have seen that your web server send the request to the backend application server on round robin fashion right the first will go to first application server second will go to second and third will go third and fourth will go to fourth right but this is a static round robin algorithm it doesn't check the state of your backend application server what is the uh, load in your backend application server okay it's i'm not talking about the unavailability of the backend application server right because to check the unavailability of application server you have some uh, dynamic parameter available in the web server which you can switch on okay after that if we have any un unhealthy uh, application server in the back end which is not responding then your web server will automatically not send the request to that application server okay now the case the or the scenario that i am talking about is the second scenario where your application servers are running in the back end but some of the server may be highly overloaded okay so this is very common in the uh, on, in in such kind of a highly available architecture based on different kind of a settings or parameter or configurations at the web server level or at the hardware load balancer level this could be possible that few of the servers are serving high number of requests or maybe some of the configuration or the resources utilization of a particular application server is very high for example you have a cpu you have a ram okay similarly you have a, a multiple a concurrent connection which we derive from the data source in the web logic connection pool okay you have a, a active number of connections on a particular application server so all these parameters are defined so what is the load on your application server and there could be situations that out of uh, four if we if we talk about the current architecture we have a four application server in the background there could be possibility that out of four there are two or three app servers are heavily loaded but the another fourth one is serving the less number of request okay so this is completely depend on the multiple scenarios 
okay how the architecture has been defined how the configurations has been set up in the back end okay so to deal with this kind of a condition okay the new change that has been introduced is called the intelligent load balancing so this load balancing that is based on the overall health of server instances while making routing decision so when your web server decide to route the request to the backend server it's not the about the static round robin only okay it will completely base on the health of your backend servers so we'll talk about in detail about that one right how it uh, check the health of the backend servers and then how it route the request to the backends so the intelligent load balancing feature consists of two parts the calculation of health score of a web logic managed server each managed server the selection of managed server to route the request okay so now there are certain changes that have been introduced at the web server level which is the ohs server along with that there are a lot of changes that has been introduced or you can say some plugins are introduced at the web logic level as well okay based on that the calculation of health score of a web logic managed server happened okay that means within a defined period of interval okay your web logic server or you can say your each of the managed server will gather the statistics statistics of the health of the server okay it will collect the health of the server and the selection of managed server to route the request and based on the statistics of your managed server okay what is the current utilization of cpu what is the current utilization of ram what is the total number of requests these kind of things based on that your ohs decide the routing mechanism to which server it has to send the request okay so that means the intelligent load balancing allow oracle http server to more evenly distribute traffic across a pool of servers according to their actual capacity for improved reliability so what we are doing is that our aim is to take to check the health of each and every managed server which is running in the background okay of your web server and send the request to a app server which is very less load okay in comparison with the other application servers so web logic server provide a default health score calculation based on cpu load heap uses work managers stuck thread count and data source pending connection request count so as i said the change that has been introduced okay where your web logic managed servers each server is calculating the health of the application server okay so it calculate the different parameters it check for the cpu utilization it is look for the heap uses it check for the work manager stack thread counts and the total uh, number of uh, pending connections in your data source so these all parameters define the performance of your application servers so your managed server calculate this health of each and every parameter okay and then coordinate with the ohs okay for these all these parameter values and based on all these values your ohs de uh, decide to which app server it has to send the request so when requested a web logic server instance set a health score to ohs based on the matrices and mbeans ohs then route request to the healthiest server instance so what will happen based on the health score calculation of all these parameter okay your web logic server instance will send the health score to ohs okay it will calculate the complete end to end parameters of uh, of your managed server and based on that it will calculate a health score and that health score will send back to the ohs and based on that particular health score your ohs will decide to which backend application server it has to send the request or you can say it will decide uh, uh, which is the healthiest server in the backend to send the request so now the request will not only static ra round robin instead of that you will have an option where based on the load and capacity or the current utilization of the resources in your backend application server you can route the request okay so how it works each web logic server instance compute its own health using a service provider plugin so there are two things here the first thing is web logic server instances are come, uh, are checking own health that means each managed server is checking the health of the own right and that is completely due, uh, based on a plugin so you will have a plugin that you need to be enabled and with the help of that plugin the server will check the own health okay the web logic server provide service periodically invoke the plugin to obtain the most current health value at a defined query interval for example every 5 second so now based on this plugins okay and there is in a predefined interval whatever that it is a custom value okay you can define it Uh, for example in, the, in in this particular uh, section we have a health period of 5 second right which is saying every 5 second that means every 5 second your managed server will check own health okay so you can this is a custom value and you can define whether you would like to have your uh, server to check the health in 5 second 1 second 6 second 7 second you have it is completely custom so now what will happen after that ohs send a request header which is called x web logic request server health score to each individual managed server instance requesting it health score so now ohs will send this particular header to each and every managed server 
ओके टू गेट द करंट स्कोर वैल्यू ऑफ द हेल्थ मैनेज सर्वर सो दैट स्कोर वैल्यू विल टेल टू ओ एच एस विच वन इज द हेल्थीएस्ट एप्लीकेशन सर्वर इन द बैक एंड और विच इज है लेस लोड इन द बैक एंड एंड ईच हेल्थ स्कोर इज सेंट टू ओ एच एस प्लग इन यूजिंग ए प्री डिफाइंड एच टी पी रिस्पॉन्स एट सिमिलरली देर इज एडर फॉर सेंडिंग द रिक्वेस्ट टू टू द मैनेज सर्वर फ्रॉम द ओ एच एस एंड सिमिलरली टू गेट द रिस्पॉन्स यू विल अगेन है सेपरेट हेडर विच इज विद द नेम ऑफ एक्स वेब लॉजिक सर्वर हेल्थ स्कोर Okay, so now you have two different kind of plugins. You can have a default health plugin. Okay, and these plugin, as I said, these plugins are used to 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 check the health of each and every managed server, or you can say to calculate the health score. Okay, so default uh, you have a default health score uh, plugin that you can enable and then just enable in your application servers or in your OHS and can utilize that. Apart from that, if you have some custom requirement, then there is a feature as well where you can define your own custom plugin for the implementation as well. right so now so far what we have discussed uh, there are different kind of uh, parameters that your uh, managed server check okay these parameters are like cpu load heap uses work manager stack set count and data source pending connection right now apart from that you have one more thing which is called the active connection count that means the total number of connections that is active at your ohs level to backend application server right so now in addition to the health score Weblogic proxy plugins also use the active connection count parameter to select which managed server from the cluster to route the request. Okay, so now we have two things. So far, what we have discussed that the that your each or each and every managed server check the health of each and every parameter, and then it generate a score based on the health parameter. Now, apart from the health parameter, you have an active connection count as well. Okay, that means along with the health score, your weblogic proxy proxy plugin will check for the total number of active connection count as well okay to decide to which application server it has to send the request in the active connection count is stored at the proxy plugin level so that means the value of the active connection count to each and every backend managed server it is stored in the plugin at the proxy level that means at the ohs level the active connection count represent how many requests from the proxy plugin inside are currently plugin server by the managed server okay so that means the active connection count is the total number of uh, requests that is currently being served by the each and every managed server in the backend okay and wls proxy plugin use the weighted least connection routing algorithm to select the next server from cluster so what we have discussed so far is that by default your ohs uh, configured with the round robin algorithm right which send the request to each and every managed server one by one right but with for this new functionality there is a new algorithm that has been introduced which is called weighted least connection so this algorithm you have to enable specifically in your configuration if you would like to enable this advanced settings okay which is called the intelligent load balancing so this algorithm select the managed server with the lowest ratio of active connection count and managed server health score right so as i said now we have two things based on that your uh, ohs decide uh, to which backend uh, managed server it has to send the request so it first check for the total number of active connection count on the backend managed server along with that it check for the health score and based on both the values it decide which is the good managed server in the backend to which it has to send the request which is less loaded in the backend this ensure that managed server with higher capacities receive a proportionally larger share of the workload while preventing overloading of less capable servers So now, uh, if we come again to this architecture, okay, where you have a web server and then you have a four application servers in the back end, a user is trying to access the application which is deployed in your application server, okay, the user will reach to the web server, okay, and then web server will decide which one is the suitable server as of now, which is under the very less load, okay, to divert the request. So here you can see that, for example, for app server one you have a twenty request, then for app server two you have a forty request. for app server 3 you have a 40 request and for app server 4 you have a 10 request that means they are currently serving the 20 40 40 and 10 request at a time right and along with that you have a health score um, uh, as well right and as i said based on both your web server decide to which application server it has to send the request okay so now in that case uh, the fourth application server is serving the 10 request okay and on the basis of the health score it will send the request to the fourth application server okay so this is how this uh, algorithm works for diverting the request and this is called the weighted least connection algorithm 
Now to enable intelligent load balancing, you must configure setting in both the WebLogic proxy plugins and WebLogic server. That means if you would like to enable this particular setting, which is called the intelligent load balancing, you have to do a certain kind of a configuration at the WebLogic level. Along with that, you have to do certain kind of a configuration at the OHS level level. Okay. So if you do not configure intelligent load balancing, the round robin routing algorithm is used by default. So now to uh, enable it at OHS level, so by default, the web, uh, WebLogic proxy plugin requests the health score of a managed server in one second interval when the request is selected to be served by a managed server. So as I said, it, this, with this functionality is where WebLogic, man, each of the managed server will, uh, will collect the health. Okay. And then the default uh, setting or you can say the default interval in which your managed server check the own health. It is one second by default. To reduce the frequency algorithm, the wait update interval directive is used. Okay. So if you would like to change that default value, which is one second. Okay. So for that, you have a configurable parameters, which you can use to modify the value of this default interval of one second. Okay. And along with that, you will have a module at the OHS level that you need to be enabled and in your HTTP.com file. Okay. And after enabling this module, you have to add the routing algorithm and wait update interval. So wait it update interval if you would like to modify from the default value of one second, right? So this is a sample configuration in OHS which we use for redirecting the request to the backend cluster. Okay. So here you can see that there are host one, host two, and host three. There are three uh, backend hosts. Okay, where your managed servers are running. You have a uh, context of your application is sample application, sample app. Okay. Now if you are going to enable this intelligent load balancing at the OHS level, then you have to add two more descriptive at this particular configurations. Okay, one is the routing algorithm, okay, which will be weighted least correction. And if you would like to update the default update interval, okay, you can add this particular, which is called weight update interval. And you can, whatever the value you want, you can specify there. So by this way, you can enable this uh, intelligent load balancing at the OHS level. Now to enable it at the WebLogic level, okay, so by default, the health score service is disabled. Okay, that means if you are going to use this intelligent load balancing, you have to enable it at WebLogic level as well. Okay, so now you have a different options to enable this WebLogic level. That means you can enable it at the domain level as well. So if you will enable the domain level, then it will be applicable for each and every managed server which is there inside the domain. Okay, and if you configure this uh, health scorecard at the server level, okay, then it will overwrite the whatever the values you have at the domain level. Okay, then the server level will be applicable. Now to enable your health score configuration in WebLogic daemon, you have to add a another descriptor which is called the health score. Okay, the first value inside the health score will be enable, which is true, and then you have a specific plugin designed for uh, for to collect this health score by each and every managed server, and that plugin class name is com.oracle.weblogic.healthscore plugin. So this plugin you have to add in the plugin class name. And then calculate interval seconds. If you would like to modify from the default value of one, okay, then you can add the calculate interval seconds here. Okay, so this is the health score uh, uh, parameter that you have to enable at your domain level. Okay, so plugin class name, as I said, this is a new class that has been introduced for the uh, for gathering the self score uh, of the each and every managed server. So you have to enable that with the help of plugin class name. Okay, and along with that, you have to add the calculate interval seconds. Now to enable uh, it with the help of uh, WLST, okay. So this is the first uh, command by which you can connect to admin server, okay, and then edit your uh, start editing your domain, okay, and then first you have to set the enable. So this health score this will enable the health score, right? And second, you have to set the plugin class name and to the calculate interval. So for that you can run this command again. You can connect to admin server. You can start the editing of your domain. You have to go to the uh, health score and then inside your domain. Okay. And then you have to set the plugin class name and then you have to set the calculate interval. Okay. And then you have to save and activate. So this is the way how you can configure the intelligent load balancing in your web logic along with the OHS. Okay. For the smart load balancing of the request to the backend application server based on the load which is served by each and every application server in the background. Thank you.